When it comes to learning Japanese, you've got the big, scary, intimidating stuff, like learning hundreds, if not thousands, of characters, and then there's the complicated grammar, which can cause a real headache. But there's also the fun, easy to master bits, which you can learn in a day and get out and start using right off the bat. You'll find when speaking Japanese in everyday conversation, a lot of people don't use full sentences, they just use one simple word to express a feeling or emotion. And if you master the 25 commonly used words on this list today, the moment you set foot in Japan, you'll be able to pick up on conversations happening around you. And more importantly, you'll be able to show appreciation for the food you eat, the people you meet, and just have a lot more fun along the way as well. So today we're joined by my good friend Natsuki. Hello everyone. And this is our day out in Tokyo and the key 25 words we used along the way. Let's go. So, this is the room. What do you think? Kire. So often you hear the word kire when somebody walks into a nice, clean, beautiful space like this. Or it can mean pretty or beautiful when you're referring to someone's face. So, for example, if I was to show Natsuki this photo of Natalie Portman, what do you reckon? Natalie Portman. Kire. Oh, Natalie Portman. And of course, uh, Ryotaro. Kire. Yeah, we're in stretching the definition of kire now, aren't we? Okay, Natsuki, you know what's in this bag? This. Your Christmas presents. Uso. From me to you, Christmas presents. Uso means no way or you're lying. It's often used in jest between friends. Uh, and often twinned with desho as well. Desho means right. Uso desho. Uso desho. You're lying, right? I'm not lying. These are your Christmas presents. Not one, not two, but three. Your first present. It is retro arcade Pac-Man. Woo! Psycho! Psycho. Psycho means the best, the number one, the top most amazing thing. There's nothing better than it. Uh, often used to exaggerate something. Uh, in this case, Retro Pac-Man. I think it fits the bill rather well. Psycho Pac-Man. Mm. Second present, Tiny Arcade Pac-Man. The exact same game, but in a much more smaller form factor. Chicha! <laughs> <laughs> It is almost comically small. Chichai means tiny. Chisai means small. Most people know the word chisai, but a lot of people don't know chichai, which is tiny. It's kind of small chisai twinned with that feeling of surprise, you know, when you discover tiny Pac-Man. I wonder if there's a smaller Pac-Man. No, there isn't. It's just a tiny beer. Third present. Chichai! <laughs> chichai biru. Good friend? Good friend. Saiko no tomodachi. Mr. Santa Cruz. Mr. Santa Cruz, I'll take it. <laughs> Natsukashi is a great word to know. It literally means nostalgic. Uh, whether it's a retro video game from your childhood or this lovely photo of Natsuki and I, the first time we met six years ago, I look at that, this first photo of us together, and I feel Natsukashi, I feel nostalgic. Are you done yet? I'm so busy. So means busy. Uh, you can use it if you're busy at work, maybe in the middle of the week and you've got a busy schedule. Say, so busy. You finished? Ah. Uh, Haraheta. literally means empty stomach. The polite way of saying it is onaka suita, but. Uh, Harahet is a lot more colloquial, informal, and you're more likely to hear it amongst friends. Should we go for lunch? Let's go. Let's go. I found a good fried chicken restaurant about 25 minutes away. Should be quick. 25 minutes? Man, look Mendoksai. Your friend says that, it's pretty much game over. It means they'd rather do something else. Mendoksai kind of means troublesome, bothersome, pain in the ass. Uh, the way I like to interpret it as a British person is it means that's a lot of effort, isn't it? So, when your friend says that, it's game over. Men look sad. Alright, let's find somewhere else. Wow, dekai. Dekai. Nihon no soze is de kon na mon. Dekai. Dekai. Obviously, the word for big is oki, but in the heat of the moment, when you're surprised by something that's really big, you might hear the word dekai. Like these German sausages. Umai. 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 Everybody knows the word delicious, but delicious is oishi. But 
I find oishi, people just say it, even if it isn't delicious, they just say oishi because it's almost polite to show respect for the restaurant you're in or the person who's cooked the dinner, just to say oishi. I've never ever heard a Japanese person criticise a meal they've had. Uh, so if they say umai, which is the next level up from oishi, you know they like it, you know they genuinely like it. And look at his little face. Umai. Mezurashi. It's another good word. Mezurashi means rare or unusual. Sausages like this are rare in Japan, apart from German restaurants. Mezurashi, great word to know, means rare or unusual. For example, snow in Tokyo. Mezurashi. A day where Natsuki goes without alcohol. Mezurashi. <laughs> A day where I'm not smiling. Mezurashi. <laughs> exactly. Every day. Every day. That was a good meal. I feel pretty stuffed. I, uh, what do you want to do now? Grab a coffee? Uh, no. Nemu. Nemu? Nemu. Jesus. Oh, you sit down. Nemu yeah, means man. sleepy or drowsy, which you might be feeling after the big meal we just had. Uh, it's the last word you'll hear before someone closes their eyes and goes to sleep for a nap. Ah, uh, Nemu. I'll get the coffee then. You wait here. See you in a minute. I'm not there. It's さみしいな。クリスはすぐいなくなるしさ。また一人だ。さみしいな。ラスケ。ごっせい。ウェイクアップ。ゴットユーカップ。ゴットユーカップ。ゴットユーカップ。ゴットユーカップ。ゴットユ
Have a look at that. Christmas? Oh yeah, get in the spirit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. Suck in the shape Toys. of uh, No, you drink it. This is quickly turning into a video that is far from family friendly. But we heard Natsuki say suge a minute ago. Suge is the more informal, the more masculine way of saying sugoi. The word that you probably hear more than any other in everyday life in Japan. Whether it's on TV or on the streets, sugoi means amazing, incredible. Uh, and suge is the more masculine version of it. And that is suge. very much suge. You want to drink it? Yeah. Not here. Nice. You can't drink that on the street here. Yeah, what will yeah. people think? Let's go and have a proper drink. You're going to need it after that. Oh. Well, we're back and uh, we're about to try the drink we've all been waiting for. Sperm liqueur. Um, I just, this day wasn't at all scripted or planned. No, no, no. This is a complete spontaneous turn of events and I want you to drink that. Drink? Drink it. I want the full review. No, go. Plan. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. oh. Why is this a thing? Oh, Look at its little <coughs> face. What's going on? Mazu. 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 <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Mazu means, uh, well, horrible, not tasty, completely undelicious, disgusting basically. Don't ever use that in a restaurant though because you will get thrown out the window. It's not a phrase you hear often, only when people are drinking questionable and daring items such as this. Here you go, have some water, wash your mouth out from the uh, the sperm liqueur. Thank you. Oh, next week, got a Christmas party up in, mm. up in Tohoku. Can you join on Monday? Nice. Monday? Oh, Monday. Really? Why? Uh, well, fair enough. Mizukashi means difficult. It's used in two ways. First, it means difficult as in difficult, aka the Pac-Man game we saw earlier. That was Mizukashi, that was pretty difficult. And also it means no. Uh, in Japanese, the word for no is ie, but nobody ever says ie because it just seems too rude. It seems a bit too crass. In reality, the only time you use ie is when you're turning down a compliment. So if someone ever compliments your Japanese, for example, says, Nihongo Jozu, you would say, oh no, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not that good. Uh, in reality, muzukashi is used to mean no. So if I ask Natsuki if he's free next week to go to a party and he said, no, it's difficult, that means it's game over. Once you've heard muzukashi, basically, it means no, it shuts it down from there. You can't come. No party for you. Go on then, muzukashi. No problem, no problem. <sighs> Skarete is one of the most commonly used words you'll ever hear in Japan. Nemui, which we heard earlier, means sleepy, drowsy. But skarete insinuates that you've had a long day, usually at work, doing something physical, uh, and you're kind of exhausted physically. You're ready to go home, you're ready to sleep, as Natsuki is right now. Good night, Natsuki. Skarete. So that was our day out in Tokyo and the 25 words we used along the way. Did you have fun? Better fun time! Very fun. I hope you learned some new words along the way as well, guys. Um, I'm sure you already knew quite a few of them, but hopefully there's one or two new ones. And if you're wondering if this is actually good, the tiny Chichai Pac-Man. We did an unboxing on a separate video where you can see if they're actually playable or not. Uh, but if you didn't learn any new words, you at least learned that this is a drink best avoided. Sperm liqueur. <laughs> So random, seriously. Don't do that. Oh, many thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. This was supposed oh. to be a family-friendly video. That's gone out the window pretty quick. Take it. Get that drink out of here. That's disgusting. Oh. Disgusting. Sperm drink.